Hello everybody, this is Bat Blast. Here I am again on Planet Zoo. And as we draw back from our painted dogs area and um, give you a, an idea of where I'm looking in the zoo. Um, this is the monkey house. We have zebras here, painted dogs. And over here is the, the newer area where the islands are. Today we're going to be looking at this area here. It's... Um, it's a, a quite an open paddock, but there's a, a little bit of work to do, especially with the rock work and with the pathway. And then there's a building in the middle where the animals are uh, housed. That's the right word, yes. And what we're going to be doing today is building this paddock. So what I wanted to do was give you a little bit of insight into how I go about building something before I actually go and do the, the sped up bit of the, of the actual process. So what I've done is I've been online and I've had a look at some maps, some overall maps of the actual area that we're building. I've looked at um, Google Maps from here, um, from here and here to get an idea of what the building looks like and also what the rock work around it looks like, the, the sides of the paths and the, the walls and things like that and to get just different perspectives of the actual enclosure and it gives me an idea of what the fences are made of so there's a fence down this side there's a brick wall around the back and then there's a brand new bit that's been built here to support this path and um it, it, it's um I've, I've now got a good idea of where i'm going i've also looked on chester zoo's map uh, to see what they currently keep in there. And they keep um, a, a deer or a, an antelope actually called a Sitatunga, um, which isn't in game, of course. Um, but I think the closest that we've found is actually um, a Nyala, which lives in Africa. It's um, it, it lives in a similar sort of environment to the Sitatunga. So we're going to be using that to, to get the correct plants and uh, in, into the enclosure when we build it so what i'm going to do the first thing i'll do is um, once i stop talking here and i speed the video up the first thing i'll do is i'm going to map the area out so you'll see me um, measuring things with bits of wall so what i tend to do is i will build a piece of wall um, along this sort of idea we might go like this so what I'll tend to do is I will know roughly how, how far things are supposed to be. So I might be, build a bit of wall, let's say 100. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 40 because these are 4 metres each. This piece of wall is 4 metres long. So that's, um, that's 40 metres right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's eighty meters. We know that's eighty there. Okay. Eight. So that's eighty-four, eighty-eight, ninety-two, ninety-six, one hundred meters. Okay. So that's a hundred meters. So what I'll tend to do with that then is put it roughly where I know this thing is supposed to be. So I know that 100 meters measured from the corner of this building gives me an approximate location for the corner of this paddock. So I don't quite know where it's going to be. So if you imagine this could be anywhere in, in a kind of arc around here. So it's going to be somewhere either here, 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 here. But I know I know that length. But I also know that from the corner here, there's a measurement there. Um, and I can't tell you exactly what it is at the moment, but um, there is a measurement for that. So I, I'll know roughly where the next bit needs to go. So let me just check that. In fact, what I'll do, I'll actually do it while we're on now. So that particular bit there measures well it's 70.64 but it actually measures from down here so what I would tend to do then is build an, a 70.64 meter piece and then just jiggle them around so that that where they meet is the correct spot I've also done some measurements from the corner of this building um, so you'll see me using that to measure 
where this building is and and so the, the two points i've used are this corner and this corner and we should be able to map everything out so you'll see me do that i'll map everything out first so i know where i'm going um, and then we'll start working on the actual uh, shape of the enclosure so i know that for example it, it's a lot lower here there's a dip down into the enclosure and then as we get to the back of the enclosure it's actually taller uh, because this path slopes upward up to this area here. So that's what we're going to be doing. Enclosure will follow and then the building at the back somewhere. Uh, the fences will get put in and then at the end we'll get the animals in and we'll start working on the actual environment that they live in. So that's the general process we're going to be doing. Um, so you'll see me doing quite a bit of mapping out to start with. Um, I'm going to be doing the, the sped up part of the video now, so uh, just sit back. We'll probably put a bit of music on for you, and um, I'll join you at the end of the video.
And that's it for this build, folks. Um, I think we've got a, a pretty accurate version of what is actually at Chester Zoo. Um, we have um, the, the wall, which is, is stone on one side and it's plaster covered on the other with the, the little wooden fence there. Uh, this is actually very close to the extremities of the zoo. This is uh, the, There's actually a fence runs just outside this line of trees, which is the outer edge of the zoo down there and it runs all the way down past the painted dogs so we'll put that in at some point um there is a, a large wall at the back of this which sort of looks like a dry stone wall but i thought the blocks were bigger so i wanted it to look a little bit more like it had been there a long while and i think that the, the mossy rocks on top of that do that quite well uh, the area behind the enclosure is overgrown there's a large overgrown area here and I just wanted to sort of give that flavour so that if you if you sort of looked through the trees, it, it was quite dense. So at some point I will go back there and we'll put the foliage in at the back just to, to fill the whole area in. Um, I think the house has come out really well. It's, um, it's a, a very good... Um, building i think it's a fairly accurate representation uh, it's the sort of building that chester has a few of with this stone exterior and then a plaster sort of inset there and it, it looks it looks pretty good actually it looks it looks fairly accurate to uh, the the one that is actually in the enclosure in the real zoo um and then finally we've got the pathway that goes into the new area of the zoo up there which we haven't built much of yet, so we'll we'll be coming to that very soon. Uh, but I like this this fence here. You may have seen me trying to put some lattice in here. This is actually a small mesh fence in in reality. Um, but I uh, I asked my wife which looked better, <laughs> the lattice or the glass, and she said, "Oh, the glass looks more like the real thing." So there you go. So it's a fine mesh. Don't it's not glass. It's fine mesh. But there you go. So that is our uh, enclosure for Sitatunga. Um, although we don't have Sitatunga in the game, uh, the Nyala that we've put in there are uh, the closest that we could get. Um, and there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Quite a simplistic build, but very effective. And I think it now starts to tie in all these areas together. And um, it's just another enclosure in our fantastic zoo as it's coming along so there are there are gaps in it we have a, a large gap here to fill in and then there's quite a bit up here and you know a few bits where the cheetahs are and certainly around this end of the zoo there's there's about this much to do around there and then of course we've got all the new area which is over here and you can see that the, i've already started um there, there are videos with some of these buildings in and um, this is on its way. I've already done some video on this one, but you can see I've started to block in some of the buildings and, and some of the waterways. So all that's coming, um, but there are things like this that just need doing. We just need to put in like the bongo enclosure that's here and, and things like that. So even though it's a fairly simplistic build, I think that actually it looks pretty good when it's finished and it, it really ties the areas in. Well, if you've enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And then uh, more videos will be on the way of Chester Zoo. I'm going to start branching out a little bit. We might do a bit of franchise as well. But the Chester Zoo videos will be coming at about one a week, as they are at the moment. So um, don't despair if you see some other videos appearing. Um, we will be finishing the zoo. And that's it for today. My name is Backblast. I'll catch you next time. And thanks for watching.